Dear students, thus we have moved on to our second tense family that is past tense. Okay, past tense. Here also we can see four subcategories. First we can think about simple past tense. Simple past tense is very easy. It's very simple. Okay. So, the format of simple past tense is subject plus past form of the verb or V2. Okay, V2, the second column, second column. Okay, the second form of the verb, subject plus past tense, past form of the verb. And here we no need to differentiate between any singular or plural. Okay, just write the past tense as it is, past form of the verb as it is. Okay, so our example Sam played. Sam and Anna played. Okay, no difference between singular or plural. Whatever the subject, just write the past form of the verb. Okay, so when we take, when we think about the pronoun chart, it will be like this. Just write the past form. Okay, I played, you played, we played, they played, he played, she played, it played. Everyone played. Okay. So, there is no difference between any, there is no subject difference here. Okay. According to the number of subjects, there is no difference here. And next we have, yes, we have to do certain activities from our grammar text. Okay. So, please take page number 44. It's very simple. It's very simple because it is simple past tense. Okay. Simple past tense is very simple. So, there we want to do two activities two activities activity a and activity b from page number 44 activity a and activity b activity a i won't help you because we know that we have discussed these verbs so many times okay there is no point of point of me to help you okay so i hope all of you will do the activity a by yourself okay activity b activity b we can discuss about activity B. What do you want to do? Take two minutes. Read it properly. Fill in the blanks with the simple past tense forms of the verbs given in the brackets. So, when you do activities like activities related to tenses, what you want to do is give importance or focus on subject. First, you want to focus on subject. Identify the subject carefully. And again, you want to identify what? Whether it is singular or plural. Okay, singular or plural and that mainly depends on the tense, whether it is simple plus sentence or in simple past tense there is no difference between any subjects. Okay, so when you write something from simple plus sentence you want to give importance to subject. Okay, and also in present perfect, in all the present tense you want to give importance to the subject. The number of subject is very very important in present tense. Okay. But in past tense, there is no difference between what subjects, the number of subjects. So anyway, just read the sentence and here you can see the verb try to think. It's second form, past form of that verb. Okay. I will upload the next video. With that, you can do it properly. Okay. Dear students, next we have our past continuous tense. It is past continuous, okay? Past, past, happened, okay? Events that happened, okay? Oh, here past continuous tense means events that were, that was happening at one point of time, okay? What's happening, okay? And past continuous tense, past continuous tense, I said when you hear this word continuous, you want to think about all the ing verbs, okay? And in continuous tense, one thing also, one more thing also needed, that is the forms of B. In percent continuous, we use at, is, am, are. The percent forms of B, B. Here we need the past form of B. They are was and where. Was and where. Okay. So the, sub, the format of past continuous is this subject plus was or where plus ing form of the verb subject plus was or where plus ing form of the verb and it's simple was with singular 
and use where with plural subject. Okay. Was for singular subject and were for plural subject. And here. Sam was playing. Sam was playing. Sam was playing. Sam and Anna were playing. Sam and Anna were playing. Sam singular subject. So we are using was. And again we are using any form of the verb play because it is continuous tense. Okay. Thus continuous. Next. Sam and Anna two subjects. So we have to use where plus ing form of the verb. Okay. So here also when you do activities from continuous tenses also you, what you want to do you want to focus on the subject okay whether it is singular or plural that is very very important so when we take when we look on the thermal chart it will be like this i was you were we were they were he was she was it was okay I was, you were, we were, they were, he was, she was, it was. Okay. In this chart, our I takes a different space. Okay. So, keep this in mind and we can do our next activity that is from page number 46. Your activity is this, activity D. Activity D. Complete the sentences with the past continuous forms of the verbs given in brackets. Okay. Read it and try to do by yourself. Okay. Dear students, next we have two more tense forms from our past tense family. They are past perfect and past perfect continuous. Past perfect and past perfect continuous. So the format of past perfect is Subject plus had plus V3. Subject plus had, H-A-D, had plus V3. And I already said that in perfect tenses, in all the three perfect tenses, we just write the, we just need to write the third form or the past participle form of the verb. Okay. So here, our example will be like this. Sam had played. Sam had played. That is a singular subject. If you take... Plural subject, there is no change. Sam and Anna had played. Okay. In both the cases, we can use the same had. Okay. So, had is the past tense of had. Okay. So, Sam had played or Sam and Anna had played. In the pronoun chart, we can see like this. I had, you had, we had, they had, it had, he had, she had. Okay. So, there is no change for had according to the number of the subjects and take the next tense form that is past perfect continuous okay it is a mixture it is a mixture of perfect and continuous tense okay here in past tense in the perfect tense past perfect we use had so here also we need had and continuous meaning ing form again okay? since it, since it is perfect continuous we need one more thing that is being b w n b so the format of Past perfect continuous tense is this. Subject plus, had plus, been plus, ing form of the verb. Subject, had, been, ing form of the verb. So here the example will be like this. Sam had been playing. Singular. Sam had been playing. Plural also. There is no change. Sam and Anna had been playing. Sam and Anna had been playing okay so that is a past tense family